welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am coming today with a ring pour. I haven't done a ring pour in such a long time. So I thought now is just as good a time as any to do one. So I'm going to do a ring pour in these absolutely delicious colours that I have here. I think I'm going to do two rings and I'm going to um, yeah, see what loveliness we can get out of them. I'll explain the colours as I go along. So I want to oh, I've got some white pre-mixed here that I'm going to um, just put in between my ring pores. So I'll just make sure I've got enough white to cover the canvas. That should be fine. So, 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 what do I want to come out first? So I have this gorgeous, this was the uh, cool blue and I mixed it with the gold and it is absolutely a gorgeous shimmery, just the most gorgeous blue colour, like our ocean can be quite often here in uh, on the Sunshine Coast in Australia. So I will put in between, this is the Tahiti, it's called Tahiti and that is a gorgeous pale sort of aqua colour. It's my dog's just trudging in now, thinking what's going on in here. This is the, um, I think it's called Turquoise Beach, Turquoise Beach. So they're all kind of in the bluey, bluey, greeny, turquoisey, tealy colours. So the colours that lots of people just love. Now I'm going to throw in the mix some of this Fluoro Tangerine. They're all acrylics by Global. And this is the Fluoro Tangerine to give it some pop. Really give it a pop. Pop your socks off. Pop your socks. Okie doke. And then I will go to my absolute one of favourites, Dark Sea. That is a gorgeous contrasting colour in there. That's beautiful. Yeah, I've just got a bit of that, so I might as well use the top. Not waste any precious drop of that. I love that colour. Oh, I love so many colours, but you know, you go on certain colours for a, a, an amount of time that you just absolutely love them. <coughs> Something new comes up and you switch over to that. This is just the white. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> Excuse me. This will be my last painting of the day, so she says, because I have just painted all day. <laughs> I have painted all day and enjoyed every minute of it. This is the last little bit of um, Berry Delicious. So, you know, I've got it left, so I might as well pop it in. Let's get rid of these cups. I might use the last bit of the Tahiti. Tahiti. There we go. I have got a little bit, well, this is just the coral. I think it's called, let me see, let me see. Um, oh, it is called coral. It's called coral. I'm thinking, oh no, it's got another name. It's called coral. So I mixed this up earlier for something else I was doing. So I might put some of that in because it just goes so well with the colours. Um... And I'll add a little bit more of this fluoro orange. Why not? Okie doke. That's it. That is it. So I'm going to do two rings. I think I will keep them separated by some white through the centre. Where did I go? That? Picking the uh, blue up from my glove, I think. Yes. Okie doke, let's do this. I'll move one away. Let's start, let's see. Okie doke, ring pull. It has been a long time since I've done one of these beauties. Oh. 
Well, that fluoro orange is certainly taking over right now. Let's see what the blues, the other blues and turquoises do as they come through. Of course, when you um, start tilting the whole thing, it completely changes the look of it all. Probably one of these cups would have been enough if I put um, white paint. Oh, look at that colour coming through. That is gorgeous. There we go. Where's his trousers? Okay, I might start it the other way here. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that is a lot of tangerine fluoro. But the fluoro is really dry, vibrant, and true to the colour that they actually are instead of dulling down. So they are a quite a nice colour to add to your work. Gives them a bit of a pop. I, I don't really want cells to come up in these. I have not mixed any silicone with them. Um, it's the pouring medium. That it's in the drop down box. It, it's just the clear, global clear. Um, and my water is all that I've mixed with the global paint. So and it's been producing some absolutely awesome cells without the addition of Floetrol or silicone. So that's pretty um, snazzy. Oh, I just love that, that um, cool blue with gold mixed. It is so, it's just beautiful. All righty. Okie <gasps> doke. Let's. Let's tilt this thing. Let's tilt this thing. I think I will put some of the white, obviously, around on my edges so I don't have to try and lose all. Actually, that could do with a little bit of water in that. Where's my just water? Water, water, that's all I need. So just a little bit of water in there because it's a little bit thick. So in my white, so I'll just mix the water in, give it a stir. Naughty dogs, be quiet. That's not gonna happen, they'll say. Okay, I just wanna get cover the corners. And along there. It's always good to go back and do pours that you haven't done in a long time, you know, kind of, um, Oh, there's just so many options that you can do now. Spoilt for choice. Okay, I think I might just pour some back through there again. Let's give this a go and see and hope the pouring gods are with me today and I get some beauties, beauty from this. And I try and cover my canvas before I start running it off. So, I'm gonna get an itchy nose when I'm holding my canvas. That's not good. Oop, 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 oop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the colors are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I can start to run it off. And just keep trying to recenter your paint before you're tilting it wherever you want to tilt it. Just saves you trying to stretch paint if it's ooh. Yeah, it's just a better option to do that. This probably would have looked so much better, I believe, with just one ring pour and the white poured around it because I believe it would have been sufficient but look at that oh haven't done a ring pour in a while and that is gorgeous I always like to have that bit of white or, or a uh, 
a solid colour through it. I just think it just adds that bit of interest. But look at that. Now, I'll just give it a whiz over with my Wonder One. Look at the colours. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I have to do more of those. I love it. Right here. Let me give it a whiz over with the heat wand. A bit of a... Ah! It's getting rid of any bubbles. But it's also causing some little pin cells to come through. Oh, I think that's enough. I am happy, happy, happy Jane with that. Wow. That is gorgeous. Why have I not done a ring pour in such a long time? Wow. Let me know what you think, guys. I absolutely love that. I will leave it to dry off and I will add some photos at the end of it. And you just let me know how you feel about it. It has been a while since I did a ring pour. So I kind of think next time I will only use, pardon me, one cup in the ring in the pour and use some paint around the outside. Swish it about because it does create such awesome effects. So thank you so much for joining me. And I will be back tomorrow. As always, I've got to pour pretty much every day. So please be here to watch me and uh, I'm happy if you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to join our Australian acrylic pouring group, there's a link below this video. Just click on the title of the video and a drop down box will come. There's a link for you to uh, post your work or join our Australian acrylic pouring group. You are all welcome. It doesn't matter what part of the world you're in. Then you can get tips, tricks and help from other like minded people. So please do that. You are welcome. All righty. Oh, it's a no drama site for a start. We don't tolerate any drama or advertising or spamming. They're just taken off. So it's pretty strictly monitored from um, the, um, do they call them administrators? Uh, I can't remember what you call them, not administrators. Anyway. Please come and join us and I'll see you again tomorrow. My mind is going. Okay, take care. Bye for now.